Hey, welcome back to Watson's Wagons. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been out taking care of family priorities. Hey, take care of your family first before you start monkeying around with this stuff. Hey, look, uh, I realized after I got this job done and a lot of people watch this video, um, that there's something that I have to correct on this. And it's not so much the procedure that we put together uh, in, in getting the steering knuckle installed and adjusted uh, with the right tension because if you remember all that stuff was done without the seal or the plate or the spindle or anything attached so but here's the problem and uh, when I got everything assembled you'll notice that the steering is very tight okay and I can't spin the axle um, now I do have a, a, a new spindle on here. It's an Amex Ada. I know. I don't. I know. I don't preach. I should have got it from Ron the first time, but I didn't. And uh, truth be told, I had this part for quite a while. Uh, but I think I know what's going on and why these things are binding up. All right. So we're going to tear this back apart, and I'm going to show you the differences in these spindles. And there's one thing. What thing you gotta look for when you mess with it? And it's got to do with the bushing. So hang tight. Uh, we're gonna get this disassembled and uh, we'll move on from there. Now that we got the uh, spindles off, this is what the thing looks like, okay? It's got a bushing on the inside. You can probably see that. It's even got a little groove here cut so the fluids can kind of get in and out. Um, this is the original spindle. Now, the only reason why I didn't put these original spindles back on, and this isn't the one, the surface here where the seal rides, the bearings and everything for the for the, uh, the hub uh, was in pretty bad shape, so I didn't want to reuse those. Uh, but when I realized that, uh, well, let me back up a notch. When I installed this and tightened everything up on the first video, you'll notice that I had a little bit of a tough time moving the uh, steering knuckle and I made a stupid statement saying ah, it'll wear in and loosen up no that's not that's not the case and you shouldn't do that uh, the problem is is this inside lip you notice that's a 90 degree angle from the face of this to in here now look at this other one you notice that 45 degree bevel all right here's what's happening when you have your axle sticking out of that uh, steering knuckle, you'll notice that the surface here is rounded on the inside. Okay. Now, when this goes on and everything mates up, you notice how it stops right there? It's because that 90 degree edge is catching on that arc. Now, let's insert the one that has the, uh, the beveled edge on it. It goes right up against it. So what happens is, when you're tightening down the new spindle, the pressure that this little corner is putting on that inside radius is causing this to stick. You won't allow it to turn freely like it should. You gotta be able to grab that and spin it with your hands. Also, uh, when this is on there and everything is compressed and tight, uh, as you try to turn, uh, it's also grabbing and preventing the knuckle from turning freely. Uh, this is really putting a lot of pressure on that bushing. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try to waller out the inside part of that bushing using a couple of things. I've got a blade sharpener, all right, from Ace Hardware. It's got a stone with a beveled edge that we're going to try to put right on here and take away a little bit of this material. And then I'm going to use a cylinder honed for a wheel cylinder to sort of help round things off. And uh, we'll capture that on video. Now you could just simply remove the bushing and uh, get you the proper bushing and press it in there but to get that out you got to destroy it and uh, I don't have the tools to get it out without destroying it so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to cut away at this inner edge a little bit to try to mimic this all right now when everything is together properly this is a floating axle this is a Bendix style it's got the ball bearings in it okay it's a floating style axle, so there's going to be a little play where this is floating on the inside as we're turning the wheel. So at any given point, it'll be in a different position, but that should be spinning freely, okay? 
That's what we're trying to achieve. So what I did was, is I got the spindle removed from the steering knuckle and uh, we're gonna check out the bushing. Hey, Mike. What the hell are you doing here? Quit, quit working on your Jeep, let's go on a mission. He's killing me. Let's go see what he's talking about. What are you talking about, a mission? It's a mission that is of great importance in the middle of the week. Like? It comes around every, every Wednesday around five o'clock. Called wet your whistle Wednesday. Uh, did he say wet my whistle? So remember, if you ain't sitting on the gas tank, you're not in a real Jeep. <laughs> so it's wet your whistle Wednesday. I'm kind of curious as to where we're going. You see, Mike, he hasn't been around lately. I've been busy. No. The truth is, <laughs> can't find him grinding, folks. The truth uh, is. We now have a running Jeep between the two of us. Just one. So I, I can hear Mike working. I can hear him. Sometimes it's a grinding noise. Sometimes it's a welding noise. But that's my signal. Mike must be thirsty. Hell yeah. I come over, I pick him up, and we go on very important missions together. All right, hang tight. from God. And he's got nothing to say. I can't downshift and turn and throw my signals all at the same time, man. Jeez. Well, I don't know what this is, but it's got something to do with wet and whistles. Ah, uh, local brewery. You the man. Yeah, I'd say mission accomplished, folks. Woo! Almost destroyed the growler. What do you think? Downshift, going uphill. All right. If you gotta go get beer, you gotta go to Touchstone Brewery here in York Haven, Pennsylvania. You can't beat it. It's local. Ah, and oh, it's man. delicious. Mwah. <laughs> the pizza is the sauce. Have you ever heard a song? or you smelled something and it took you right back in time. It could have been 20, 30 years ago. Let me tell you something. Jeremy picked me up and he took me out to this place to try out their beer. I didn't know that's where we were going. I sort of guessed, but you know, didn't know it was Witch or Whistle Wednesday. <laughs> Folks, this stuff right here, made with genuine German ingredients. This stuff took me back 20 some years, instantly back to Frankfurt. I'm gonna tell you something. Mm. It was so good, I had to pick up a growler. Support your local breweries, folks. If you're ever in the York Haven area, uh, you gotta come here and try out some of this Touchstone. Uh, this guy's got some awesome uh, some stuff in there. And, um... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to say, but uh, I'm heading back to Europe. Entschuldigung Sie, bitte. Means excuse me, please, for you non-German-speaking individuals. Have a good night. Yeah.